bro would you believe me if i tell you that this little girl is starting uni tomorrow I use the kiss at home kit I don't have the box anymore I only have like a few lash strips left but this time I'm using this it's from the beauty supply store like this brand and this as well because I couldn't find the kiss anymore and the kiss were kind of short so I wanted something a little bit longer last time it took me like maybe two hours and now it's what time is it it's like 10 something almost 11 and my first class is at 11.45 tomorrow, so I want to sleep by at least midnight, 12.30 or so. Do we say like 12.30 for midnight 30? Do you say midnight 30? Anyways, probably sound dumb right now because I'm tired, but I'm so excited as well. Like the adrenaline is going beep, 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 beep in my veins, in my heart. Oh la la. <sighs> I'm growing up. Anyway, let me do my lashes. So guys, I just finished. This time it took me one hour. And this is the final results. to my youtube channel and if you're new welcome to the family as the title of this video suggests today is my very first day of university so i'm currently getting ready and i'm going to be trying my best to vlog throughout today to carry you guys with me i'm super excited um i already showered i already just i need to just accessorize fix my hair you know and then we're gonna get going to do the claw clip hairstyle this is my first time i don't know if it's gonna work <laughs> so i am ready so drew check later so right here guys i finally got to school i'm based on the loyola campus because my major is journalism so that's where like the journalism and communication studies department is located so right here like i'm walking to class i had no idea where i was going i went to orientation and also the open house but i still didn't really know where the classes were so there you had like me stressing out looking for the class and then luckily i found this one girl i met at orientation and she showed me where the class classroom was so this was my first class of the day intro to reporting and i really really loved it it was super fun also i really love the views at loyola um concordia has like two main campuses loyola and sgw and loyola really has more of like you know the typical uni vibe that you see like in movies with the campus and like the trees and people just like sitting and having lunch together and then sgw has more of like the downtown feel to it because it's like downtown and it's also like just several um buildings situated a bit close to each other and it's more like it has a more of a business corporate vibe to the campus if you know what i mean while loyola is more like school 
old school typical university vibe you know what i mean yeah i think you guys get me were probably wondering why i kept following those girls but it turns out that i had met them at orientation before and now i just found out that we were classmates so we were already working on an assignment that we got for a recording class this class was a journalism conference with all the first year students in journalism so as you can see it's a super small program so it's really nice and comfortable you guys have nobody here in your baggage so I, that was my friend Brianna. We went to Vanier together, so it was super cool that you know we're in the same program and everything, so we get to see each other often. And now we went to visit the dorms. So for people who stay on campus, and that's my friend Pearl. I met her um through Instagram before attending Concordia together, so that was super cool as well. <music> So here we were on the way to the downtown campus, so the Sir George Williams campus. We wanted to go get like our ID cards done, but it was the first day of school, so there were so many people. So we just, you know, did a little tour of the campus and we didn't get our IDs till like the day after. Do you know how to get there? Because I'll just follow you. Okay.
Okay, so day two was very eventful. The first stop that you just saw us at was the Black Student Center's Wellness Fair. And basically they were offering a whole bunch of stuff like free massages, free hairstyle, cornrows, um, free health checkups, free talks about sexuality, hair care, all that type of stuff. And it was offered by the Black Student Center. So you know, I really loved it. And I was kind of networking and telling the people about NBG and stuff. And then right outside, we had like a club fair. So me and my cousins were just, we were just like walking and looking at the different clubs that interested us. And of course, the two main ones were the Haitian Association, cause you already know. And the other one was the African Student Association. So we took the contact of those people and stuff like that because we're trying to connect with the community, the black community at Concordia, but also because I'm trying to plug in new black generation wherever I can. After all that, I was done with class and everything, so I walked my cousin Tyrone to his class. There he is. Not me I'm helping Tai sure. Tai find his class, and it's so full. You're gonna walk so into cool. this class? It's literally so hard to vlog. There's so much going on, and I'm getting so shy, but. I'm gonna try to give you guys all the content that I can and I'm not gonna do a first day vlog only because I don't have enough content I'm gonna do a first week because I only have three um, days this week so yeah not gonna lie like vlogging at school is really taking me out of my comfort zone like This was day three. It was my last um, day of my first week since I don't have school on Fridays and I didn't have school on Monday because it was a holiday. This was me in intro to multimedia class, which is by far my favorite class. We were working on audio that day and yeah. Then we had an event with the Black Student Center again. It was a Black Student Mixer event. So all the Black students from the school would come and meet with each other and do speed friending, do games together, and it was super fun. It was also at Reggie's, which is the bar, which is on the Concordia campus. And it's a student-run bar, which is like super cool. I didn't even know that was a thing, but we had a blast. I was with Brianna. Pearl and my cousin Tyrone and we had so much fun we met so much cool people and I just feel like you know if you go to school as a black person you're gonna gravitate to the other black people so an event like this was like perfect and it didn't leave space for like you know being uncomfortable and all of that because everybody was actually there to meet people you know what I mean it was amazing
was then on Friday night or Saturday night, I don't really remember, we had a Y2K Nollywood party, which was organized by the Nigerian Student Association in collaboration with the African Student Association. And it was super fun. I really loved the vibes. but then like i forgot to like really vlog and video so um, that's the end guys like i feel like the vlog ended so badly but as i said it was super complicated and super hard to actually vlog like while being at school all because yes i was shy yes i was like uncomfortable but there's like so much going on and i was trying my best to also live in the moment so i hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the behind the scenes and don't forget to like comment share subscribe get me to 300 subscribers because i've been waiting but anyway thank you stay blessed and much love always